Deputy Head Simon Botton is determined that his Year 5 class won't be bored by the history unit on the Tudor Monarchs. He's aiming to have the children's hearts thumping, and this is how he's going to do it. Today, here's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be Tudor newsreaders. You are going to be reporting on the different ends that came to Henry's wives. Each table is going to be your own news company, and each table is going to report what happened to that wife, why it's happened, and what's going to happen next. And that's quite a lot, because we now only have an hour and nine minutes left. We started off um, looking at the QCA units for history in Year 5. Um, one of the objectives there is that the children should know about the reasons why Henry married six times and some of the uh, details as to what happened to his wives. Um, the actual activities were quite um, dry, shall we say, in the actual units. So we decided to make it a bit more interesting by uh, using some digital cameras, uh, video cameras, and getting the children to recreate a Tudor newsroom and to actually shoot a broadcast. Here's what we need to do. We're going to need to organise our teams. We're going to do that in a minute. There's four main parts of lesson. One, organising the children into a team. They've not worked in that way before this year, so they needed a little bit of uh, coaching on that. Then the research section of the activity, where the children are actually going to find out the, the, the nitty-gritty of the details of the actual history. And if, if you like, that was where the, the real learning was happening as far as um, meeting objectives. Uh, thirdly, to write some notes about the story uh, in the format of a script for their news broadcast. And finally, to film a one-minute broadcast uh, which they can then show the rest of the class. In just over an hour. That's an awful lot to do. Put your hand up and you can manage it. Fantastic. OK, hands down. First thing we do is organise our teams. Now, we're going to have various roles. We're going to have a director. That director is the person who's in charge of making sure everybody in your team is doing their job. We're going to have a camera operator to film the news broadcast. We're going to have two news readers Two, two people are going to stand in front of the camera and deliver the news. We're going to have a script writer. Who's actually Simon's got an effective way of getting the children to sort out who will do what without arguments breaking out. There's one rule I say before we do that. You are not allowed to say, I want to do this job. You can only say, I think so-and-so should do this job. So you've got to say, I think Ella should be the camera person. OK, you've got one minute starting from now to decide each of those roles. Go. OK, and let's see. Clap once you can hear me. Clap twice so you can hear me. Clap three times so you can hear me. OK, your news broadcast is going to be on the day after whatever happened to that wife has happened. So, if Anne Boleyn's had her head chopped off, it's, it's on the uh, 19th of May. You're on the 20th of May, telling the nation. As luck would have it, I was going through my attic the other day, and I just happened to find a Tudor newsreel. What are the chances of that? Um, it's a bit grainy. Uh, it's not very long. Uh, it must have been a relative of mine, I think, because there are certain uh, similarities. Uh, on the Battle of Bosworth. This will give you an idea as to the sort of uh, tone you need to do when you're doing your uh, news broadcast. So, uh, here is a Tudor newsreel. I hope it's in the right place. Today, on the 21st of August, 1485, grave things are happening in Bosworth Field. The two large armies of Richard III and Henry Tudor are massing there for perhaps the final time. I wanted the children to have a model as to how I felt it should be uh, or could be done. So I thought the only way I could do that was actually to create one myself. Now, um, what I did then was I did exactly, went through exactly the same process that the children went through. I took a camera home, uh, went through the dressing up box over, the, over in, in, our, in our dressing up room, uh, found some silly clothes and um, put some makeup on my face and came up with a little video about the Battle of Bosworth, which is something that they already had researched two weeks previously. So they knew the story and could just see how that story could be put into the format of a news broadcast. The weather will be whatever the Lord our God decides to be across that my nation. I bid thee good night. So, that gives us the idea of what we're aiming for. Yours isn't going to be as polished as that, but it has to have that kind of amount of information. You might decide, if your research is going really well and uh, you've got all your facts, think about what other little stories you could maybe make up to go in there as well. Maybe some sports results. So, 
I'm going to start the stopwatch running now. I'm going to give you an hour to do all your research, write a script, and film your uh, work. So, the first job we've got is research. Every single person in the class should be involved in this. There's enough sheets here for one person to have a sheet each. I would start by looking at the books, looking at the materials. You need to know which queen you're going to do. So, this table here, you are going to do Catherine of Aragon. This table here, Anne Boleyn. Over here, we have Jane Seymour. Yes! Over here, Anne of Cleves. Henry was very rude about her. You might want to include that. And over here, Catherine Howard. We're not going to put Catherine Parr in because, as we know, she survived. So, you've now got, I'm going to give you until, ooh, quarter two. That is uh, about 22 minutes to do your research. Uh, as much background information about where the Queen came from, what she like, um, who was she? How did Henry meet her? Um, German. Yes, she is. Oh, German. Oh, no, don't, don't go home. The next main part was to research the wives. They were given three different sources to do this. They were given information sheets that uh, they were already familiar with books which I'd selected first to make sure there was some information on those wives in there and they were given the use of the internet and it was interesting watching them do it that they automatically leapt for the internet um, and actually came back to the other sources which in a way were more focused than the, the sites they were looking at um, later on. He had at least two mistresses that we know of Bessie Plow. I wish that we could just print this out. Mm. It'll give you too much though, Jack. Background information. The laptops are wireless networked to both the internet and the school server. You've got a lot of information there. Right I've got, that got I can get more than that. You yeah, can be live at the top. The owner of your Tudor television care station, the Earl of Warwick, has come in on a right strop and told you that you've got to stop researching now and start writing the script because you've got to go on air in about uh, half an hour's time, which means you have to start having a script ready in 15 minutes' time. In a moment, I'm going to hand out two very high-tech items. One, a pen. Two, a very large piece of paper. It's the next best thing to autocue. You've got to think, how am I going to make this sound interesting for the Tudor public? Then I'm going to need to say what's happened in a bit more detail. Then I've got to say why it's happened. Then I've got to give a bit of background information about the Queen. What do we know about her? Then what do we think Henry's going to do next? OK, straight down to work then. Oh, and is, living, is weeping with her father in Germany again. OK. Yeah. <laughs> She was accused of being unfaithful to the king, of seeing other men. Yeah. By the king yeah. of seeing other men. In this part of the activity, the children are starting to think, OK, what information have I got? And how am I going to put that information into a format which fulfills that role? They probably have lots of information that's irrelevant. And actually sorting that information out is quite a skill that they need to try and acquire. She died because she got ill of having the baby and nothing could help her. Yeah, but what did she get? No, because they did have medicine in it. Yeah, that's what. We have 16 minutes left to actually start recording our news broadcasts. Now, let me explain a few things about the video cameras. These cameras, as I said, have only one minute of footage on them. So you need to use that footage well. We bought these cameras, about £89 each, uh, and we thought, best that the technology is actually used by the children. Um, that's our core purpose, after all, is to educate the children how to use this technology, not that we can use it for recording assemblies and things. So we decided we'd buy six of these cameras uh, and one slightly higher spec camera for about £100. Um, so that we could use these within the curriculum for all sorts of different, different things. We've used them for uh, geography field work and in this case history. Now on the front of these cameras is a very small microphone. Now if the camera person starts talking then you hear this I'm glad you do this, I need to move, excuse me, I don't hear anything else. 
if you're the camera operator or anyone else stood around, is that you're absolutely silent. Can you press and hold the button, please? You keep your finger down on the button for as long as you're taking that shot. If you are the presenter, speak loudly, slowly, and clearly. A little bit posh, and as though the person watching is slightly deaf. <laughs> because then you'll make sure that you get yourself close. If you start gabbling out like this and talking really quickly, then no one's going to be able to hear me. I want you back in here, ready to show your films at quarter past. That gives us six and a half minutes. It's not very long. You group, this group, you just go outside that door there, please. Could this group here, would you like to just work outside that door? Uh, this group While two of the groups will be using the playground to do their outside broadcasts, one group is staying in the classroom, and another has transformed the cloakroom into a makeshift studio. Hello and welcome to the Tudor Times. It must be a record. The fourth queen gone. Anne of Cleves divorced only 24 hours ago. Anne is weeping with her father in Hever Castle, which Henry gave her. The reason why this marriage has ended is because Henry found the picture more beautiful than Anne in reality. She died because she got very ill of having the baby cut. That was only 39 seconds. We've got an extra 20 seconds to spare. Here we go, absolutely quiet now for the first piece of news. Catherine Howard, daughter of Lord Edmund Howard, was beheaded by her husband, King Henry VIII. Previously, Miss Howard was engaged to one man, nearly another, before Henry VIII had them both beheaded. The day today is 14th February 1542. We go to Lauren now at the Cockpit Live. The nice thing about having an interesting whiteboard is it allows you to show the children's work writ large at the end of the lesson. The children have done their videoing. Traditionally, you'd have to then get the tape out, put it in a big tape, go and get the TV, plug it in, huddle children around the television, and you might be two lessons later when the children actually get to see their work. This, the children come along, they grab the cameras, they stick it on, onto the uploader, and straight away the children can watch what they've achieved at the end of the lesson on a large screen, and, and that really gives it some impact. We lost his temper at the end there. Give him a clap, that's brilliant. I think it went quite well. Probably if I were to do it again, I would give it maybe only 10 more minutes. Maybe after a break, we can get the excitement of the activity out of their heads first and then come back and think about it a bit more critically, uh, just so that the actual history skills and history information that they picked up is what lingers with them.